I am Rob. And I'm Matt. And this is the Tenertia VR Review by Barefoot Gaming. All right, Matthew, what is Tenertia VR? What's the storyline in Tenertia VR? You know, I don't really know the storyline too much, but you're a robot named Weldon and you're trying to escape from somewhere and robots and stuff wants to kill you. It's, and it's a twin stick yeah. platformer is what this is. Every once in a while we come across games that aren't brand new, but right. that are a little bit different. Mm -hmm. And it's a little refreshing for us to take a break from always the first person shooters. And you'll notice this is not a first person shooter. <laughs> yeah. This is not a wave shooter. This is a game made from hell for difficulty. <laughs> Now, the concept is you rocket jump. Right. Yeah, there is no actual jumping. You have to use your rocket to propel you where you want to go. And you can only do it off of actual hard surfaces. Now, you may notice from the gameplay that this is not typical regular room scale VR. Right. This is a seated or standing, mm -hmm. I guess. But you need a controller. Yes. So you're not going to do this with your Vive sticks. You're not going to do this with your Oculus controllers. You will need some kind of gamepad to do this. Yep. And the only buttons you're going to use are your twin sticks. Yeah. Your twin sticks. And then your... Right bumper. Yep. And that's it. So you can walk around with your left stick. Your right stick will choose what direction your rocket fires. Mm -hmm. But you're not going to be really doing any walking. Most of the stuff, you have to jump. And it's... Yeah, it, it's impossible. The game is insanely hard and you get into it and there is no holding your hand or anything like that. Like the first level or stage, whatever you want to call it, is kind of a tutorial tells you how it is, but it's still pretty difficult. And then after that, it throws you into your first boss fight. Absolutely. And, and it's, yeah. So seven environments. There's seven <laughs> environments in this game. There are 10 levels per right. environment. And yes, it depends on which... That's right, yeah. So, I think 65... Plus, yeah, 65 plus levels. Is what they're saying total. And yeah. the levels are, are short-ish sometimes, some of them yeah. are longer. But it's going to take some time. Mm -hmm. And the environments, like the seven environments, all do look quite different from each other. Yes. And it amps up in difficulty like crazy as you go further and further along. Yeah. What, what are we missing here? <laughs> You're basically 10 minutes into the game, you want to pull your hair out. There's if, there. if you're looking for a Mario style platformer or like Lucky's Tale mm. or something that's just kind of a fun romp, then don't don't get yeah. this game. No, this is not for the faint of heart. This is definitely if you are hardcore into platforms and you want something difficult that's going to be challenging, this is the game I recommend. <laughs> Let's get to the review. <laughs> right. I think we can review this thing, all right? Mm -hmm. So it goes for $12.99 Canadian. Right. I'm going to guess it's around the $10 mark US. Yep. Matthew, give me pros, give me cons, and give me a score out of five. So this game is amazing. I love the way that this game works. It's a little bit weird getting used to it, just using your two joysticks and then your um, right bumper to do most of this stuff. But the fact that it doesn't really hold your hand, and it's really difficult, but as soon as you complete a level or a stage, it's so rewarding that you just want to keep going more and more and more into it. Like, we had to force ourselves to stop playing just so we could get the review out, because we kept going, even though you're dying on the first or second level. So many times. You're making sludge, such minor, basically, improvements that you can see that you would be able to pass it if you keep going. So honestly, I don't see any cons with this game. I had a blast with it. For this, it's gonna be a five out of five for me. So, I'm, I'm gonna have to say, again, if you don't like difficult games, mm -hmm. stay away from here. Yes. And I don't like difficulty for the sake of difficulty. Like mm -hmm. if you throw me into the old school, like NES, Mega Man and stuff, yep. I'll get super frustrated. <laughs> that single one hit, one kill or whatever. I, I could do it when I was a kid, but I can't do that anymore. Yep. This game made me so frustrated. And honestly, I can't remember the last time I played a game that was this hard mm -hmm. that I kept playing. And I did. Every time I failed, I just wanted to do it again because I'm like, okay, well, that was my fault. I mm -hmm. know what happened. Right. The levels are designed to frustrate you and infuriate mm -hmm. you. And But every time you get a little bit, little bit further, and then you don't. And then you just mess up in the beginning right. over and over. Yeah. But... Aside from that, this is a fantastic game. It yeah. really is. I 
generally I'm not a big fan of just the sit down and play VR or as we did for the review we <laughs> did the stand up and play yeah but it's it's fantastic I highly recommend mm -hmm. Tenersha forget the storyline forget that all that none of that matters if yeah. you're, you're not gonna grow you're not gonna love your little Walden or what's his name what was it Walden? Walden. Yeah. yeah. It, that, that's not it. It's just the satisfaction from beating levels and bosses. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Those bosses are insane. In fact, at the end of this video, this is going to be a longer video, yeah. not because of our review, mm -hmm. but at the end of this, I'm going to put just some, some gameplay so you can see how frustrating and how many times we had to go. We should probably do the two boss fights. Yeah, maybe we will. That's two boss the fights. Two better ones too. And I don't even know if we'll do all of them because it'll be yeah. like an hour of like yeah. it's insane. But honestly, four and a half out of five. Highly recommended. I had never heard of this before. I ran mm -hmm. across it by accident, and I love it. This game needs to be more popular. Like, if if you haven't if you haven't heard of it, right? I, really sit down, buy the game. It's worth every penny. If you like that style yeah, of game. Yeah. But if I mean, like that style. I'm not a huge fan of that style of game, but the fact that you can see that you are going to make improvements as you're going along and you know that you were the reason that you failed, it didn't feel like the game was making it impossible to win. You could see <laughs> At where times you it did. Fail. At times yeah. it did, but it yeah. never did. <laughs> right. And again, uh, Shovel Knight, stuff mm -hmm. like that, I mean, I can enjoy it for a little bit, yep. but it's pretty difficult. This is just hard. Right. And it's fantastic. And that's the review. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, Thanks, we're going to put gameplay after this. Yes. So there's going to be a bunch of gameplay. If you want to watch it, mm -hmm. enjoy it. If not, you can click subscribe or you could share it. That's the other thing you could do. Share. You can share, <laughs> comment, like. Honestly, we love hearing from mm -hmm. you. And I do my best darndest that we make sure we go in there and and reply yes because we want to know what you have to say thank you so much for watching uh get ready to watch us go through some really painful moments and here in our lives talk to you later <laughs> see ya, see ya. Ah. Oh, run. Run, run. <laughs> okay i gotta start running sooner what <laughs> the Got him. Oh, you can shoot him. Maybe you should have done that in the first place. So, I wonder if I can shoot all the blades. Yeah, you can shoot the blades. The bottom one's broken out. <gasps> okay. I, you know what? I freak out because of that stupid. <laughs> well, you got the middle one now, so you can shoot the bottom one now. <laughs> what about you panicking so much? <laughs> <laughs> Shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe you shouldn't kill them all. Because then he swipes it across the map. Dang it, because as soon as I jump. Yeah, but he kills me. Right. So don't kill all four of them. They're basically just time savers. So like now you can shoot one. Yeah, like he has to break that. Oh, 
if you only shoot the bottom ones, though, then you'll be safe on the bottom and you'll break the top. You know what? I think when he pulls back, I can get past him. I thought if I stayed on the edge. Okay. <laughs> yeah, of course. Dang it! <laughs> this is an then the gears. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I do not understand this. This is insane for what they want you to do. I know, right? <laughs> Feels like he speeds up. I don't think he does. <laughs> this is just insane. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I didn't mean to! <laughs> Alright, here it goes. I made it! <laughs> Why did you restart that? <laughs> oh, you need to restart, you've already thrown two of them. <laughs> you need to basically have a perfect run to beat this game. <laughs> this is the first f***ing level! <laughs> oh, I can't wait to talk about this game. <laughs> this is the devil this game <laughs> Oh, oh, you can make it. You can make it. Oh, 
my guy used to. Oh, man. <sighs> I don't have it in me. <laughs> you do. You're slowly getting better. I actually am. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> I think you need to shoot back like immediately to give yourself the biggest gap possible. <sighs> Pretty much anywhere you mess up. <laughs> Is there a difficulty that we like? I know, right? <laughs> Smokes. <laughs> that is freaking insane. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 oh, <laughs> Holy! I gotta go all the way up there? <laughs> <laughs>